So we have my uh, 61 Bambi's returned. No, she's returned for a tire upgrade. The uh, owner wants to go from these tires to a little bit taller tire. So these are 14s and those are 13. So they want a little bit more uh, ground or ground clearance. Uh, 14s don't fit on the other side. So we have to modify the fenders on the other side. I'm sorry guys, I did not do a good job explaining this. My customer had purchased these tires and wheels and installed them himself, but trying to get this tire put on the driver's side, he mangled up this fender on that side. He figured he could bring it to me, I could trim up that fender and make the tire fit better. Unfortunately, we, we're going to find out that's not exactly what's going to happen. Let's go ahead and get these uh, tires looked at. I mean, I can probably start with the easy one. Put the rear tire, or the spare tire on, make sure that uh, it fits. Actually, let's not do that one first. He says this side fits okay, so let's go ahead and put this side on and then see what the other side looks like too. Right, let's see what we got going on here. Look at that, I dropped all of them, just like I planned. <laughs> I don't know guys, it already looks like it's not gonna work. Like it's definitely going to uh, be trimmed out quite a bit. I don't know. I still don't think it's going to fit. I'm just mocking this up. Don't worry about the nuts. I just don't want to lose them. I don't think this is going to work, guys. I don't got any clearance up in there. But if I were to jump up and down on this, it would me out. So much for the easy things, right? Um, there's just not enough room up in this little well here. Everybody can actually see. I can't get my finger in between the top of the tire and the wheel well. I was afraid of that. Now this is a torsion axle. So I can't flip it. And it's welded on. So I have to see what my customer would like to do at this point. And this is not an adjustable torsion where you can set the uh, the angle. Okay. So yeah, obviously we could trim this down, but there's no real reason to do that. Because I could not send this thing out of the shop where the uh, wheel's gonna hit the top of the wheel well. You can see all the room I have up here on this side. 
So I have to see what he would like to do at that point. <laughs> All right, so we got this thing put back together. You'll have to excuse me, I did not have time or uh, ability to record the entire process here. So we had to cut off the axle, where it was welded onto the frame here. We've actually welded up uh, about two and a half inch blocks on each side. So we have quite a bit more clearance. So a 13 inch tire is a lot shorter than a 14 inch tire, not one inch. But now we have all sorts of room underneath right there. I mean, this was difficult to climb underneath before. And now that was really effortless. So it's kind of easy to see all we had to do was uh, was welding up a block. My camera lens is dirty. So there it is. I'll weld it up back in. And on that side, and so we should have all sorts of room on this side now. And I remember before I couldn't even get my hand on top and I got quite a bit of clearance and hand space there. Probably even more than the original tire had. So now the last issue was, if you remember, supposed to be the easy part, was the spare tire. This rim, this aluminum rim instead of the steel rim right here, the lug pattern is a little bit different in the sense that I don't have a big opening in the middle to put that mount in. If I were to try to put that on there, it's just going to mar up that uh, aluminum. So I have to get a couple coarse threaded uh, lug nuts. One will go there just fine. And I think I want to make this reversible so I don't want to cut this part out. So I'm just going to make a mark down here. And now I can just put a uh, carriage bolt in there. Have it come through and bolt it on. And I got a longer one just in case. I have to cut it to fit. And that should do it. And it's fully reversible at that point. You can put these back on again if he wants to go to a show. So I don't know. All right, so I got a pilot hole started right there. I'll go in with a uh, 3 8 drill. Woo. Now, of course, that's still not going to be big enough because I think these are a big half-inch shank. All right, and we got to go bigger than that because uh, the carriage bolt. So I'm just going to step up. <laughs> nice camera. <laughs> to a step bit. And go the rest of the rest, rest of the, uh, the width and get the carriage bolt th put through there. And then we'll mock this up. I think I went too far. I always go too far. Not too far. All right, so I just took off a little bit of the head of that. Held it with some vice grips there. Ah. It looks like cleared it just enough, so we're good there. Now, if you can find them, these little one-way push washers are what you want to put on right there. So it's just going to hold the, uh, the tension. Hold that carriage bolt in place as we put the uh, stud on. So there it is, it's put on, so it kind of captures it so it can't push back off. And of course we want to make sure we're using these uh, corresponding coarse thread reverse acorn nuts. So they are lug nuts, but they're coarse thread. It's hard to find these. I wish you could see that. Can you see that? There you go, it's coarse thread. Three quarter. All right. 
should be good now. Because you wouldn't think the spare tire would be just as difficult as doing the uh, axle lift. But there's the axle lift. We'll take it on a test drive and make sure everything's working good. All right, guys, so I'm taking this thing on a test drive. And uh, she seems to be pulling pretty well. I think we finally got this uh, Airstream go accomplished and done. And the last thing I need to do, because we're not done, is change out the window blazing. But that'll be another video. Uh, so that was just doing an axle lift on a torsion axle and uh, installing a new spare tire so that it would still uh, work on the old spare tire mount and vice versa. This is on the uh, 2000, 2000, 1961 Airstreet and Bambi. There she is back there. Hi right, guys. Sure, uh, need a break from this. You know how common complaint on these Milwaukee drills? Is that the uh, the chuck doesn't uh, hold the? Uh... It's because you have you didn't go buy the fuel. It has the plastic chuck instead of the steel chuck. I'm gonna have to grind off a little bit of this uh, carriage bolt so it sits flush, and then I'll pop it through.